What is up team? Chuck with Traders War Room. I'm back at you with another video and this is your midweek sit rep and man what a crazy market we had today. It was going up, it was going down, things were just going all over the place man and this is a prime example why you got to diversify man. Some of our puts looking pretty rough okay but we made money on some of the calls riding momentum and we were still able to make money on our puts on a lot of trades guys. That is what I'm talking about riding the market no matter what direction it goes and you can get all the alerts right at Traders War Room. If you want that fire join today and with that said, guys, if you're ready to rock with me, then all I got to say to you is follow me and let's go to work together. Traders Warm, let's get it right now. How'd TWR do today? Well, let's check some alerts. Following the trend and doing some day trading, Netflix, enter 250. Exit at 350 and that's an easy $100 per contract. Energy was hot. We went ahead and entered in Devon, 270. We see green, we take green. And we don't just have day trades. Our swing trades are fire. What about Uber? And don't forget that date time stamp. We keep it 100 around here. Boom, 127 to 445. It don't get much better than that. What about our 12th YouTube play? Ticker was Disney. Come on, 220 to 435. You feeling me yet? Why wait? Come trade with the Bulls. Join the team today, traderswarroom.com, the Discord, or the instant message alerts. Let's get into the video. What's hot and what's not? The market roared today, green across all sectors. Futures are looking a little grim, but we'll see what happens at the bell tomorrow. Calls versus puts, looking about 50-50 currently. Big boys definitely got some volume and some price action pushing in them. Dark pool, spy and Q, the big ones. Apple got a little bit of volume in it as well. All sectors were green. Energy biggest with technology and utilities pulling up the rear. However, we definitely going to pay attention to these as the market rolls tomorrow. Top trending stocks and like a detective, we got to pay attention and follow the momentum. So top news, U.S. goods trade deficit shrinks on weak exports. So quarter three growth estimates raised. So U.S. trade deficit in goods narrowed for a fifth straight month in August amid a decline in imports, which is being driven by slow domestic demand as the Federal Reserve aggressively tightens monetary policy to tame inflation. This is the big push for what happened, though. The data prompt economists to upgrade their GDP growth estimates for this quarter. So if it doesn't reach what the estimates are then that's a definite guaranteed for some dramatic drop okay so definitely got a little bit of bullish sentiment but don't get caught with that dead cat bounce next story lawmakers union press u.s airlines to hold off on stock buyback so the labor unions and some u.s lawmakers are pressing airlines not to resume stock buybacks after covid assistant prohibited expires this week so this will be interesting to see how the airline industry and some of the ones that ride coattails as far as machinery are concerned definitely fare out on this particular uh, st new story that came out and finally Buffett Berkshire Hathaway buys 5.99 million more of Oxy. So Warren Buffett bought another 6 million shares of Oxy, boosting its stake to 20.9% after the oil company's shares lost about a fifth of their value in less than a month. So definitely paying attention to that because anytime Buffett buys stuff, the stock usually tends to go up but sometimes not immediately. So we'll pay attention to it and see if energy can keep on their upward trajectory. Let's look at some charts. So with SPY, I'm still bearish, but I'm gonna follow the momentum. So if we stay above the moving averages on shorter time frames, I'm gonna go ahead and follow it forward to the upside. However, we start to close again below our moving averages. We have to respect the trend and we're just gonna continue it to the downside. And we're still in the downward trend, so we do have an overall bearish outlook on SPY currently until we see clear signs of reversal. At this level, I like XOP for continuation. However, I'm not going to expect fireworks if it can't hold this level. And we should be prepared for some downward trending. However, if it does can hold this level, currently this moving average, I do like it for potential breakout to go retest those recent highs. 
Rocket, I do like this one for a potential rejection from bottom. I think that at this price, a lot of investors will look to get into this one. And this is also dependent on market sentiment. So if the market sentiment ends up turning to the bull side, this could fare well, especially at these prices. And you could see a nice dramatic push to the upside. This thing took off after the Alzheimer's drug news. And I believe this is too much too quick. And I also listened to the CEO and lead research uh, analyst on the team. And what they were talking about really didn't impress me. Um, it's all speculative based off of some research. And they still have a lot of mountains to climb before they get FDA approved. So I do think while it's a great thing that could potentially come, I think they took off too much and we got a little bit of backtracking that's going to happen now from cool down watching this one for a sympathy play on this alzheimer's and parkinson's disease you know information a lot of times people will get into biib run it up and then take profits and then go into the cheaper stocks so this one's much cheaper than the other one and is in the same realm so definitely could fare well for some investors taking profits on the more expensive one that is bib and then coming over to avxl and dumping some money in there trying to run this up a little bit making some profit apple man apple took a tumble today and the question is has the king fallen well i do think that apple sees a little bit more of a downside from here given its production however we will probably get a decent little run up from the bottom going into their earnings coming out here very soon Netflix and it's game time guys. Netflix has been beat up for so long and just got upgraded and they have a whole bunch of new products. It is time probably to start going long on this one and we have a lot of space to go from breakout. We could still see some downward trending, especially if the market takes the dump like I'm predicting it will. However, this thing is gonna run pretty hard until we start to see the signs of the market hitting that bottom rut going to the second leg down warren buffett buying six million shares definitely has this thing trending hard and at a current level i could definitely see continuation to the upside and potentially a peak out from these bottom levels going to retest those recent highs and with that said team here is your free trade alert let's go ahead and make it let's go 13 out of 13 we've been on a fire with these our last one none of the triggers have hit yet trade's still good but we're going to go ahead and rock on with this one 13 out of 13 let's look what we got and here's what i'm seeing i'm going to look for calls above 62.75 and i'm going to look for puts below 60.75 at the money in the money as much as we can and when i get into the trade you guys already know i'll alert it on the servers that's it team and guys we make it too easy not to make money around here why wait come get this fire and come trade with the bulls join the team and check us out traderswarroom.com and you can get on the discord or the instant message alerts